Maramordi, an ancient place well known in all Spain, with a history that has transcended the limits of the Mediterranean country for being the birthplace of witches who didn't know were witches. Perched in the Pyrenees, set in postcard-worthy scenery, it had an impressive cave with high curved ceilings and galleries in several levels that made it look like a temple and which center suffered the rage of the Inquisition in the 16th century. The stories about this place have gone around the whole country, for there is no better location to learn about witches and covens than this town in the community of Navarra. Hell broke loose upon the arrival of a mysterious French girl to the village. It was 1608, and this girl, named Maria de Zemeldugi, had decided to leave her country in a rush. Some claim she was escaping a French jury dedicated to hunt down people from La Borde. Once settled in Zugaramordi, the French girl didn't hesitate to accuse others of being witches. It all reached a critical point when, in that same year, a meeting that perfectly fits the modern conception of a coven was held. The girl didn't take long to do her accusations, which led to mass hysteria. The news of this meeting reached the ears of the Tribunal of the Holy Office of the Inquisition. Along with rumors of satanic masses taking place in the cave of Zugaramurdi, the party was more a bacchanalia than a satanic rite. A celebration that in honor of the Roman god Bacchus, the authorities in their ignorance and superstitious spirit judged the event at their convenience. After a rushed investigation, more than 50 people were accused of witchcraft and worshipping Satan. In November of 1912, the Inquisition judged the apparent witches in the meadow of the goat alongside the cave. It was the most famous witchcraft-related act of faith in all Spain, and the place went down in history. Subjected to torture, the incriminated admitted having done everything they were accused of. Six of them were burned alive, and five others who died during interrogation had their corpses scorched. The prosecuted were nothing more than women and children who had an understanding of how natural resources could be used for healing purposes through infusions, plasters, or flower remedies. An idea taken from the belief of the existence of ancient pre-Christian cults where women had a hegemonic relevance. It is worth mentioning that this incident also provoked thousands of accusations in the towns and villages adjacent to Zagaramordi, north of Narvana, an act of faith that got a few others burned on the stake. Ironically, this is considered one of the most benevolent acts of the Inquisition, since in most of them, almost none of the accused survived, while in this particular one, only five of the accused were burned at the stake. That alone is bad enough, but it must be taken into consideration that, the previous year, the French had burned 100 people, and that by the end of the 17th century, over a thousand witches had been burned in Europe. Popular opinion dictates that an aquilere, Spanish for coven, is a meeting of witches and warlocks who worship the devil. It's one of the few words Spanish got from Basque, the native tongue of the Basque country that had no relation to any other language. It comes from the Basque terms aquer, meaning male goat, and ler, meaning meadow, a place that has already been mentioned, which designated an area in pastoralist communities where a male black goat, unrelated to the block, was taken by the herder to mix the breeding and keep it healthy. The association of this male goat to the devil started when Christianism arrived to the rural areas of Spain. Even more, once the office of the Holy Inquisition announced it would prosecute everyone who practiced witchcraft, it branded the image in their believers' imagination. 
After putting so much effort in working their fields, after saying every possible prayer, after behaving as a good neighbor, an exemplary citizen, and even better Christian, a storm or a pandemic came that raised everything. Who were they to blame? Obviously, a mysterious, toxic force unleashed at night with malice, aforethought by an evil doer. This is what started all the mass hysteria. Nowadays, Zoragamordi is still known as a town of witches, and the caves where all these diabolical ceremonies took place can be visited. There is also a didactic museum of witchcraft, opened in 2007, that aims to exhibit the magical practices based on the research done by Florencio Idote, Jose Miguel Barandiaran, Julio Caro Baroja, and Koro Irazoki. In addition, there is of course the famous Goat Meadow that popularized this small location and a community closely linked with witchcraft and occultism that provided a meaning and connotation to the word aclare. This is the famous story of Zugaramordi, a town victim of the horrific Europe during the Inquisition. What people lived and saw back then was so serious, absurd, and horrendous that the Inquisition itself, ashamed, decided to stop and draw a veil over the last witch hunt in Spain. Finally, Four years after the burnings in Zugaramordi, a heroic Spanish inquisitor, Alonso de Salazar, took a necessary step for the Inquisition to forbid witch hunting, for in its writings a message clearly stated that witches and witchcraft were not as vast until they started writing about them, and that such social behaviors led to the awakening of human perversion and injustice, which totally opposed the message of love so deep-rooted in Christianity.